morning. This is Melinda May from uh, Taz America. I'm the president. We're here in Long Beach, California. And today we have an eight color compact. I'm going to show you our TPC. You want to zoom in a little bit, Dom? Automatic. This is our print heads. To activate a print head, you push one, that's one pass. Two is two pass. Three is three passes. And F is a flash. You can have a flash on any head. To simply set up this design, you go like that. If you want to clear the memory, you hold the number one button down for three seconds and it clears the memory. We have a shirt count. You can add on or you can remove if you have a spoil. We have a rate per hour. It tells you how many shirts you're doing per hour. Grand total that can't be zeroed. It's for the warranty purpose. You hold it down for three seconds. It zeroes how many shirts you've done today. You can add, take off as you can see. When you get the total here, if you push the plus button, it tells you how many you've done today. It also tells you how many you've done yesterday by printing the min pushing the minus button. We also have an end batch, so if you want to just print 20 shirts, you can just dial in however many you want to print and it counts backwards and it zeroes and it stops when it's to zero when you've done the amount that you wished. Flash button, this is how you activate the flash to hold in for a certain amount of time. Dwell number one, the pallets will index and they'll wait before they lift up. Dwell number two, they uh, pause and they wait until they, and then they index. And then we also have a delay, so if you want to delay the whole machine, you can activate the delay by adding numbers in point of a second. We have sequential start button to begin your job. You set it up, push the sequential start, index the machine around and it will sequentially start up. When you finish, you push the sequential stop button and it will sequentially shut down the heads. The clean button, when that's activated, the squeegee and flood bar stay in the clean position so you can rotate the pallets and maybe remove some flat flock or something that's stuck underneath the base of the screen. We have a reset button. When you push the reset button, the machine will reset. And if you have this message, safety light, join to continue, that means our safety isn't connected and you must connect the safety before the machine will start. When you hear that beep, you know that it's connected, so you're ready to start again. So you can, it's just initializing. When it says idle, it's ready to go. You push the automatic button, and then you can just probably end up putting on some things like that. Got a print. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And you push the stop. some of our standard features which is on every single hi good morning which is on every single one of our machines okay so here we have this is to release the micro registration so you unlock that a little bit do the same with this side and by moving this lever here you shift the screen left to right at the back you can also shift the screen left to right and this middle again. lever it goes up and down so you can actually rotate your screen in a circle and there's no such thing as bad registration you can get it absolutely perfect with the machines and then you tighten it when you're finished okay now here we have a lift lower button print flood so obviously lift up and down and that prints, and that floods. Now, Don, come around this way. This is our finger slide print stroke adjustment. We have two sensors here to pick up on this metal. So if I adjust this, and it just stops there, and I can adjust here. Okay, these are our squeegee pressure cylinders and our flood bar pressure cylinders to alter 
Let's push stop. Oh, you're on. Okay, so to adjust the squeegee pressure and the flood bar pressure, it was, um, 18 mil early. wedge. Although I ended up back down in the bar. Also. Release the two locking nuts like so. And you simply wind your pressure down according to how much pressure you need. And then you just nip it tight with this. Simply as that. And the same with the flood bar. You can adjust the flood bar pressure as well. Okay, now I'm going to show you how to take the squeegee out. We have new squeegees. To release the squeegees, you turn the handles, grab hold of these two handles here, and you simply slide it out like that. Okay, so you can see it's much easier. Now you just literally put it straight in like that and tighten it up. Now, with our new squeegees, they actually pivot from the centre. So when you used to angle the squeegee, you'd angle it like that, you'd have to put more pressure on. And when you straighten it, you'd have to take the pressure off. But now our new ones pivot from the centre, so you don't lose any pressure. You don't have to add or take any pressure off the squeegee's handles here. Okay, now if you want to adjust the speed of the squeegee, this little arrow here, meaning that way, you can reduce the speed. If you hold this button in, it goes down in increments of one. That's the slowest speed, which is a lovely slow speed, as you can see. And this adjusts the flood speed, this arrow coming back towards me. So this is you know, decent speed, and you can also slow that down by holding the minus button in. So now we have a slow print and a slow flood. Also, with our new electric heads, you will notice that when the print is printing, at the end of the print stroke, it releases the pressure so you don't have the squeegee constantly pushing into the screen, damaging it. Okay, another beautiful feature on our compact, it's called a pin-in lock. So at the moment, you know, with this machine in there, you can hold on to the and you can stop it like that and push it along forward. So, you know, if by some chance somebody can step on it go like that to save them, or we also have this safety bar, which I push here, stops the machine straight away. Okay, so this is called our global off contact or central off contact. This little lever here enables us to change all the height of the pallets. So at the moment we have it on zero, which means when the pallets are in the upper position, which I will show you here, there is zero off contact. Not sure if you can see that down there. When the pallets are in the down position, I can then rotate this lever um, and it goes all the way to five millimeters. Then, so if you're doing a run of t-shirts and you want to change to a run of fleecy, you have a fairly decent off contact. So you don't have to adjust any of the screens. You're literally lowering all of the pallets. Wait. Okay, now I'm going to show you how easy it is to set this print up. Head one, one pass. Head two is a flash. Head four, five, six, seven, and eight. So now I've set up the press and it's ready to run. So I'm going to push sequential start and I'm going to set the dwell time, which we're going to need about six seconds for because the pallets are cold. I'm going to hold this down for three seconds and start.